In this video, you will learn Lemon Plus Nonverbal Racing Type 8, Nets and Cubes Part 4. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to master Lemon Plus exam techniques to land in your dream grammar school, start right now by subscribing and clicking on the bell so you don't miss anything. Let's have a look at this example. And for this example, we're going to use MOP to help us. So M stands for missing shapes. O stands for opposite sides, and P stands for pointing directions. Let's start with missing shapes first. So if you have a look at the cube we have right here, we have three shapes. We have an arrow, we have a plus sign, and we have a square. So these are the three shapes we have. So if you find a net that does not contain all three of these shapes, then we cross it off because we want all three of the shapes and nothing less. So let's have a look at A. In A, we have the arrow, we have the plus sign, and we have the square, so that's fine. Let's move to B. In B, we have the arrow, we have the plus, and we have the square. So B is also fine. In C, we have the arrow, we have the square, but we do not have a plus. Because we're missing one of the shapes, we can go ahead and cross off C, and let's move into D. In D, we have the square, we have the arrow, and we finally have the plus. So D is also fine. Let's move on to E. In E, we have the arrow, we have the square, and we have the plus sign. So once again, have all three shapes in E as well. So we managed to cross off C, and we're now left with four options. So we're left with A, B, D, and E. And let's put a tick next to missing shapes, and let's move on to opposite sides. Let's move on to opposite sides now. So in terms of opposite sides, if you have a look at the cube we have right here, we have a plus sign, we have an arrow, and we have a square. And as you guys could see, all three of these shapes are next to each other. Because they're next to each other, this means they're not on opposite sides. Because according to the opposite sides rule, opposite sides can never be next to each other. And since these shapes are next to each other, this means they're not on opposite sides. So if we do find these shapes on opposite sides in any of the nets, we cross them off because they're not on opposite sides. We also have a net which shows the opposite sides for this particular type of net. So let's start with A. In A, we have the arrow right here, we have the square here, and we have the plus sign right here. So the plus is over here, we have the square in the middle, and we have the arrow at the end. And as you guys could see, the plus sign and the arrow, they're both on the same colour. And as we said before, same colour means the opposite sides. So as a result, the arrow and the plus sign are on opposite side, so we can cross them off because they're meant to be next to each other, not on opposite sides. So let's move on to B. In B, the square is right here, the plus sign is over here, and the arrow is right here. So this is where the square is, this is where the plus sign is, and this is where the arrow is. They're all on different color, so that means none of them are actually on opposite sides. So we can leave B and we can move on to D. In D, we have the arrow right here, we have the square over here, and we have the plus sign right here. So this means the square is here, we have the arrow at the left, and we have the plus sign in the middle, and they're all at different color, which means none of them are on opposite sides. And we can move on to E. So in E, we have the square right here, we have the arrow, and we have the plus sign. So the plus sign's here, the square is over here, and the arrow is to the left. So E is also fine because they're all on different color sides. So that means none of them are actually on opposite sides. So we managed to cross off A using opposite sides. So let's put, let's put a tick next to opposite sides. Now let's move into pointing directions to find that answer. If you have a look at the cube we have right here, and if you have a look at the arrow we have, you may notice that this arrow is pointing towards this plus sign. So if we find a net in which the arrow is pointing somewhere else, then we cross it off. Because according to this cube, the arrow must point towards this plus sign. Let's have a look at B. In B, the arrow is pointing towards the plus sign, so B is fine. In D, the arrow is once again pointing towards the plus sign, so D is also fine. In E, however, the arrow is pointing towards the square, even though it's actually meant to point towards this plus sign. Because it's pointing at the wrong shape, we can cross off E, because it's meant to point towards the plus sign, not the square we're still left with B and D. So in this case, what you have to do is 
you'll have to just use common sense to find the answer. So if you have a look at the cube we have right here, you may notice that this arrow is towards the right hand side of this plus. But if you have a look at D, the arrow is towards the left hand side of the plus, and if you fold this cube, the arrow would be towards the left hand side. Even this is actually meant to be towards the right hand side, because it's in the wrong direction, we can cross off D, and now we're left with B. Let's check B anyways. So in the arrow is towards the right hand side, towards the plus sign. This means our answer to this question is B. So let's check if B is right by unfolding the cube. And as you guys could see, this net is exactly like B. So this means our answer for this question is B. If you guys are wondering what this is, this is an aid for constructing the cube to gain a better understanding of how the net folds in a far more effective way. So the link's in the description below and in the comments section. So go check that out. Now to learn more nonverbal reasoning types, click the video on the right. And to learn the previous type, click the video on the left. So take your pick. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.